Alrighty guys, so our first herp of the day here was this beautiful eastern yellow-bellied racer. Now the reason they call them yellow-bellied racers here is because of that be uh, yellow underneath their belly right there. It's kind of hard to see, but... No, it's pretty bright yellow, but... How do I show it? There's, there's the lighting up. It's pretty nice. That's why they call them yellow-bellied racers. But these are an awesome guy. I flip them under this rock over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and so... It's really a nice snake. How do you get under this rock? There he goes. Come on, fella. Come on, here. Go under your rock. It's hard to do the one-handed. Aim to go under his rock. Here we go, mate. Oh, no. I guess he's not going under his rock, but... There he goes. Alrighty, guys. I just flipped another eastern yellow-bellied razor here. Pretty awesome little dude. I'm just gonna put him back under the rock where I found him here. My camera lens is in the way. Here, no, wrong way, bro. That way, there we go. He knows where he's at. We have just arrived to our next location here. It's an absolutely beautiful habitat. Uh, here we can find water snakes, bull snakes, garter snakes, uh, what else? We might find milk snakes, I don't know. Uh, but there's some stuff around here, so I'm gonna look around these ponds for now. Hopefully we'll find some animals, I'll let you guys know. This is an absolutely nice spot, uh, so I'll let you guys know find something. Alrighty guys, here we have a bull snake crossing the road. It's a little trail, we just got to our spot like five minutes ago maybe. There's already a bull snake crossing here. Alrighty guys, so this right here is the bull snake, Pichuophis katana for Sayai. This is an absolutely stunning snake. Now, I love about these guys, they're the one of the bigger snakes here in Colorado. Uh, they can grow up around seven foot long here in Colorado. That's the biggest I've ever seen. They're really absolutely beautiful. Now, the reason they're called bull snakes is because when they're scared, they get in a defensive posture like this, rattle their tail, and make the sound of a bull, like a hissing sound. People think that it sounded like a bull, so they call them bull snakes. Sadly, people often mistake these snakes for prairie rattlesnakes and end up killing them. Super unfortunate, but, yeah, so, whoa. As you can see, this is a harmless snake, or else I wouldn't be getting this close, but really nice guys. Now, they are harmless to pick up, and they are a nice species. As you can see, they are quite intimidating sometimes. Uh, always a pleasure to find these snakes here. Wow, what a beautiful snake. Bull snake. All right, we're just gonna put him off, let him get off the trail, and we'll just release him. It's a beautiful snake, seriously. Alrighty guys, right here I have my life of red-sided garter snake. Now the reason these are called red-sided garter snakes is because they're red right there on their sides, as you can tell. So this is my lifer, and lifer means if you've never seen this species of snake before. So I, tech, I was following some snake tracks. You can see it's kind of hard, but there's some snake tracks just running along right there. And I followed it, and then out, of course, in the bush, I just found this guy. This beautiful red-sided garter snake. It's hard to pick up on camera, but these guys, this guy's colors are fantastic. This is one of the nicer looking garter snakes I've ever seen. And it's a full adult. I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes, but like, this is an awesome snake. Crazy awesome snake. Oh, there's mosquitoes everywhere. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna try to find a spot away from the mosquitoes to pose this guy and photograph him. And then, like, this is, this is absolutely crazy. Like, I've always wanted to see one of these snakes. Let's find a spot to photograph him here. Alrighty, guys. I'm going to release this beautiful snake right back here. Let him continue back off into here. What an absolutely beautiful animal.